Hi, back again. We start again. So, um, today we want to make that thing here. So, we start. Add mesh circle. Rotate x 90 degrees. Scale down. Bring it in front. Go here to that point. Scale down. Edit mode, extrude, scale. Done. Mark all, extrude. We want to have here a middle part that comes out and goes down. So we need here two loops. Control R, make two loops. Turn the mouse wheel. We have that. Scale Y. Now we go here out. So we take that one here. And that here. Okay. Then we close this both. And then we close this inner ones. And the back part. Wow, oh, I hate this picture shit there every time in the way. You never see anything. It's real horrible. So, again, from here to here, plus that, that, and that. I have to close. Good. Then we need here a bevel on that. Control B, move the mouse, roll the middle mouse button. Same at this point. And when you would, you can bevel this edges there. So that is one of this part. So we can scale down. That is one. And we have a second one, so Shift D, make a second one. Bring it there. Good. Now we make that structure here. So again, add mesh or circle scale down bring in front road no we rotate it not we start directly so we make the first one here so edit mode extrude bring it down a little extrude again bring it down and scale up Extrude again, bring it down. I think here is the next tab. Extrude, bring it down a little. Scale smaller. Extrude, bring it down long way. And extrude scale to the biggest part and bring that down. And extrude again to get that last part there. Then we are now here, and now comes that. So extrude scale, I extrude and bring it out. It's a little bit smaller, I see. So we can take your face selection and scale it up. Good. Um, then next.
next one is that one needs a um, smooth on it. And you see the shading arrows arrives. So control R make overall loops in at each round part on the top and on the bottom. And then you will have no shading arrows anymore. Good, you see here comes a thing out that is nearly the same. But before we make this shit there. So it, that is a six counted one. So add mesh cylinder and we want to have six only. So we have that and we scale that and set. So we have that. Yes, bring in front and we bevel that all. So control B and this beveled. Good. That is the next part. The other part is here and it's the same like that but smaller. So shift D and scale them down and scale them to set. And then we have that. Good. Uh, we done this uh, screw type uh, with a normal last time, so we only need this um, cylinder there. So we only bring here mesh cylinder. I think 24 is okay. Scale down. And that is all. The normal we make later on is sure, but when you smooth, you see you have to do the shading again with loops in on top, on bottom. Good. You see there is an open catch thing there that we must build surely. Here are two cylinders. So we can take a simple cylinder like that, shift D, bring it there, rotate Y 90 degrees and scale up and bring it here too. A little bit more in. And a little bit smaller. don't like it but sometimes it is like it is we scale a little good then shift D you make the second one bring them down make them smaller so like that and then we bring here the back side more out so we select them with background selection circle and bring it to the same size there. Then comes this part and this other shit there out. So the first thing we do is that one here. So we add mesh a cube, scale down. Scale in the set. So we have here three times here rounded edges that goes nearby and here is smaller than at the top. So we need here the whole size we can let in a moment. So we make control R in edit mode surely and bring it in the half. That is okay. That is this point here. So this point is completely smaller than the top. So that means we can take that here complete 
and scale and do X such like that this should be rounded so we take here that one that one and control B move and roll so we have that round look there good um, next part is to cut in the hole there that it isn't completely closed so we have to open that so we take here the front and the back with it so this both X root scale to bring it in a position where we have this border there the same we make with that thing here and the back face I exit scale look from front and you can adjust it better we should scale here set so that can be our shape of the model and surely we will not let that like it is what is that here is some missing control set that was horrible good uh, so we make two loops maybe scale x that is also simple and does the same good so at first we delete here the front faces x only faces they are gone now we have to cut up that here so we take here the edges and x delete edges so now that thing is open then we take here this loop this loop that and here rest in principle we take the whole front so uh, circle select here the front but only the words then we scale y zero that we have a plane there and same here scale y zero good that is it for now but you see that here don't fit so we have to bring them more to the side so we take here this one and bring them to that point that is not the end point for sure so that here too and now we have to connect this ones with that so we simply take that one here and grab it there so that is what they have there too but they have no bottom in there so we delete these edges there one two three four and delete them now we close that would have and close that would have and then the top part that will not have a function I think when we must let them go then we can bridge it maybe so we try that search bridge edge loops yes and I close it good smooth and you see what happens we have the problems like ever so control R make two loops in scale in the Y and the front can be flat so we can go to faces take these faces and say flat and this 
2 flat and on the back 2 but there is a picture like ever so here again flat and this one flat good so that is this shitty thing there <laughs> I must call it so sorry for that um, yeah uh, we recalculate the normals then we see here is a shading error in so we try to get this loop x dissolve edges and here the same dissolve edges and we have one and the shading can't be so bad there because um, there are many objects and throw shadows to them so that is all okay so good um, here we have a thick outer part around it and I think that should be shorter or in no only the down part should be shorter so we take that here and make it a little bit shorter good and then we get this cage around it so add mesh cube scale down that can be the cage scale x where is it there in front so we bring it there to jump to it we'll see what we get all in all that is a little bit too bright there so scale y bring it there scale up and scale x so that we near around it but not completely then we have to cut this in all directions so Control R, make two loops, scale X to bring it there in. Um, I think about it. The case should be around and open at one side, and the side is the front. Okay, that we can do. And this one should be not there. Okay, 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 okay. So we delete these two edges there. So that is an open one. Then we close here the faces. Good. And you see that there is an open standing thing there. So we get here a loop in and bring here one face out and simply bring them a little in the Y and we have that open look there and now we only need to bevel all but not real all so we don't bevel that that and that that not oh, must look think that can work but here isn't 3D but okay we bevel first so that and then we simply grab that here and bring that X shoot a little in then we can close here the front so we get that and that I have to close thanks a lot good and then we have no bevel there so we bevel that fast and furious <laughs> we know that okay let's move that all is okay don't know why the shading error is there. I will know that, so I go with M in this panel here, and I look for the normals. The normals look in the right direction. Okay, then that isn't the problem. Then we should 
recalculate them, flip them simply, flip back. No. Okay. I've tried it. Really? Hmm. I tried again with loops, but can't be right. No, I don't have some. Okay. So we go back. Good, but eagle. Then it is like this. We put it to the rest there. Well, we have to do them both join together and grab and bring it there. Look from side. So we can place it better and you see there it is shitty too so we can place it there wonderful then we bring the rest here to the middle points and then we are nearly there where we should So we have done that shitty here all. Here comes no this um, oval thing there. So we need here add mesh a circle. Rotate x ninety degrees. Scale down. Think that can be the size. Edit mode. We make a copy, Shift D, bring it down, scale down. So that is the base structure, and we now must only find the words to connect, and the rest we delete. So we delete that here, and we see it don't fits really. So we delete that here too. That don't fit so we take them away and now we try F to close mark both F to close now we have that thing there and we can close with F bring it in front extrude to the back and take each of these lines so we make a middle line, then we take this and this, and control B bevel them. Good. Now we get a smooth on it. But without the front and the back face, that should be flat. Good. We have done that, that comes here, but rotated, so we scale that first a little down from the size, then we rotate set 90 degrees to bring it there, and we got that, and we make it a little smaller, so we got that, then we go to the side view and bring it on its place, so we have that. That is that part here, and that must be a little bit thicker, so scale Y, uh, X, sorry for that. So, yeah, that. Good. There comes a screw out here with some plates down there, and these ones are on it, so we rotate that simply and bring that near to. Same with that one. So, uh, side view. 
where is this? Oh wow, kilometers. But we come in. So we bring it in the middle. Set to see through it. Okay. Then we go back to material mode. Now it is in. So we have build it that thing here we have to close surely that here F and bevel ok down part F to close and bevel good we are done that. Good. Then we join that all together as one. Join. Grabbing. Not the picture. This one. Wow, we have too many. That is bad. So we go edit mode. Get here this picture. I can't select them. Ah. And then P and separate selection. Then it is now that one, one thing, and the other one is one thing. Good. File save. Good. We done that thing nearly. Not really, but nearly. Yeah, yeah you know my 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 words there. Um, but that we must turn our C. So we take with L, we can select that, rotate, set 90 degrees, and then it is better. Uh -huh. Now we see what was there wrong, that was here, double things, so X, delete words, X, delete words. Now it looks better, and now we can also bring the shading out by moving here things in it and on the outside too and then we have uh, no shading arrows there good file save I make a short pause and then uh, we go on with that so see you